The Siege Crab is built to strip away the comforts of vanilla Minecraft and make every moment feel dangerous. It's harder, it's slower, and it's designed to push players to their limits. And today, I'll show you how to set up your own the Siege Crab server so you and your friends can dive into this brutal survival challenge together. So what exactly is the Siege Crab? It's a mod pack that makes Minecraft feel more like a survival horror game than a sandbox. Recipes are limited, forcing you to fight for every upgrade. Progression is slowed down, so even Iron Gear feels like an achievement. Mobs are tougher, spawn in larger numbers, and punish mistakes. Food, tools, and resources are scarce. Nothing comes easy. Instead of rushing to endgame, the Siege Crab forces you to scrape by, build slowly, and rely on teamwork to survive the night. Its survival turned up to 11. Since the Siege Crab is a heavy mod pack, you need a server that can handle the extra load. A small group of players should be fine with 4 to 6 gigabytes of RAM, but for bigger groups or public servers, go higher. That's why I recommend min servers. They got mod pack support, one click installs, and solid performance, meaning you won't be stuck fighting lag when you should be fighting zombies. And trust me, in a pack this hard, every second delay can mean a game over. Installing the Siege Crab is simple. Simply go to your service control panel, Click on mod packs and search the Seas Crab. Then click install, restart, and you're ready to go. Now here's where the Seas Crab gets interesting. Customization. The mod pack is brutal by default, but as a server owner, you control how hardcore it really is. Adjust mob spawn rates to make nights more intense or a little more forgiving. Balance loot tables so rare items are truly rare. Edit crafting recipes if you want to tweak progression. Enable automatic backups because in packs like this, worlds can get wiped fast. These tweaks let you set the exact difficulty curve your community will face. Even in the hardcore mod packs, server tools make life easier. Here are a few essentials. Life perms for ranks and formations, and economy so players can trade scarce resources. Die map for a live world map, helping players plan safe zones. And discord, so your community can strategize outside the game. These tools don't make survival easier, but they do make your server feel more professional and connected. The Seascraft can be punishing solo, but that's what makes it shine in multiplayer. Players can band together to defend against mobs, trading because of essential when resources are scarce. Large bases and fortified towns give players a sense of safety. And several wide events, like zombie stages or resource races, keep the community excited. This is survival at its most brutal, but also its most rewarding because every victory feels earned. Performance is key when your server is overrun with mobs. Here are a few tips. Lower your view distance to server properties, restart your server daily to clear memory, use optimization mods if they're compatible with the pack, and keep everything updated to avoid crashes. A stable server makes a big difference when survival is already this hard. And that's how you set up a deceased crash server. Choose a strong host like min servers, install the pack with an easy one-click solution, customize your convicts for the perfect difficulty, add essential tools, and build a community that can take on the challenge together. Deceased crab turns Minecraft into a nightmare survival experience, but it's the kind of challenge that makes victory feel sweeter. If you're ready to try yourself, check out MinService for high performance hosting that makes running mod packs simple. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and tell me in the comments. How long would you survive against the zombie horde?